he didn't say anything he just reached out to hold my hand as we crossed the street we were just leaving the clinic where i would have had my first mammogram the doctor told us it was a malignant lump in those days my husband never openly showed me any affection in india it just wasn't done when my hair started falling out in patches my husband shaved my head so i'd be more comfortable he wasn't usually open about expressing his love but now he would say to his parents see her face is glowing she looks so beautiful i had my family especially my mom in law supporting me by helping to take care of the situation after my surgery she sat with me washed my hair for me she took care of me when i needed her when i had to go for my chemotherapy sessions she would get up at 3 am to make my lunch she would peel the pomegranate and pack the seeds in a box for me we got through my cancer together fast forward exactly 10 years later i am now in canada and i get the devastating news that i was diagnosed with breast cancer again i'm sorry our family has to go through this again don't worry my husband immediately told me we are going to get through this the same way we got through it last time but this time I was without the support of my mom in law as she passed away a year before my husband turned out to be very supportive as usual my daughters helped out too whatever help my husband needed they were there every day is beautiful i have learned to look at the things i used to take for granted as blessings the shoes i put on my feet the hot water for my bath the wings on a bee just last week my husband who has a fear of heights arranged for a helicopter ride over niagara falls for my birthday oh my god that was amazing right now i'm thinking of joining a women support group so i can give support to other women who may be far from family or just need a friend cancer can go wherever it wants i can't stop it but it can't take my attitude and it can't take my faith